in this episode of Aviation This Week, Gulfstream's fifth G700 test aircraft takes flight, de Havilland delivers two Dash 8400s to Ethiopian, and launching the Canadian Advanced Air Mobility Consortium. Gulfstream Aerospace on October 23rd completed the first flight of its fifth G700 test aircraft just three weeks after the fourth G700 flew for the first time. The platform was introduced in October 2019 and made its maiden flight on February 14th, 2020. First deliveries of the aircraft are expected in 2022. The fifth G700, largely focusing on avionics testing, flew for three hours and eight minutes, reaching an altitude of 48,000 feet and a top speed of Mach 0.935. Powered by Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines, the G700 is expected to be rated to fly at a high-speed cruise of Mach 0.90 for 6,400 nautical miles and 7,500 nautical miles at its long-range cruise of Mach 0.85. The test aircraft have also flown beyond the G700's projected maximum operating speed and cruise altitude, reaching Mach 0.99, and an altitude of 54,000 feet. In typical operations, the G700 will be rated for a maximum operating speed of Mach 0.925 and a maximum cruise altitude of 51,000 feet. The Havilland Aircraft of Canada on October 23rd announced the delivery of another two Dash 8400 aircraft to Ethiopian Airlines. This accounted for the airline's milestone 30th Dash 8400. Both of these new Dash 8s were delivered to Ethiopian's hub at Addis Ababa Bull International Airport. Owned by the government, Ethiopian began operations in 1946. Ethiopian first added the Dash 8400 into its fleet in March 2010. The airline is an authorized service facility for this type and added Africa's first Dash 8400 simulator. It has a range of network partnerships with other airlines for the operation of the Dash 8400 across the continent. The fleet of more than 155 Dash 8 series aircraft in Africa includes more than 90 Dash 8 400s. Worldwide, more than 150 airlines, leasing companies, and other organizations have ordered almost 1,300 Dash 8 aircraft. Vancouver-based Canadian Advanced Air Mobility Consortium, CAM, was officially launched on October 28th as a multi-stakeholder group to research and develop technology for the advanced air mobility sector. Initiated by Canadian Air Mobility and the National Research Council of Canada, CAM currently holds around 20 partners, including the likes of Helijet, Beltextron, Iskwe Air, BCIT, and UBC. In relation to its work with CAM, Bell points to its autonomous pod transport vehicle, a tail-sitting eVTOL capable of moving 70 pounds of goods through autonomous flight. Bell is also developing the Nexus air taxi platform. Helijet, which launched Canada's first scheduled helicopter service between Vancouver and Victoria back in 1986 and has now carried more than 2.5 million passengers, will also serve as a key member of CAM. The company manages heliports in the mainland and on Vancouver Island through its Pacific Heliport Services subsidiary.